if you are instantly thinking that this is some type of a brain or central nervous system tissue, you're right, because it is. And as soon as we focus, even the computer will agree with you. If we don't focus pretty quickly, we start all over and uh, waste about a minute or two of our time. Sure, this is central nervous system. You could see the areas here and here where these large neurons are perhaps more gray matter or nuclear type areas, whereas areas here in which you have a failure to see uh, larger neurons that are mostly uh, glial cells and myelinated tracts is uh, white matter. This is a really good example. This happens to be the pons, but it could be anywhere. You could instantly see these larger cells as being neurons, and you see lack of them in the tracts. Uh, the thing that probably distracts your uh, appreciation for normal histology right away is that you have an area out here that doesn't look right at all. It doesn't look like anything we should normally see in the brain. It looks like maybe a bunch of blood vessels uh, funnily or weirdly arranged in which uh, many of them could very easily be thrombosed. This is an AVM. This is another example of an AVM. An AVM is an arteriovenous malformation. Technically, it results as a uh, abnormal development of blood vessels in which there is an abnormal connection between the arterial and venous side of the circulation without having gone through capillaries. Often, these AVMs can become uh, thrombosed. They could bleed into the brain, or they can bleed anywhere where there is an AVM, and they could do damage. If you were to do a, a radiologic angiogram or a nuclear medicine angiogram on an AVM, it would light up instantly, uh, like what they call the light bulb sign, where it just gets so much brighter with dye, so much quicker than everything else. Uh, it's just, if this looks like a bunch of twisted blood vessels to you, some of which may possibly be thrombosed, uh, then you know you're dealing with an AVI. And whereas an AVI could technically be present anywhere uh, where there's blood vessels, which is anywhere in the body, uh, when they are present in uh, a very important part of the body, like the pons, uh, that's where they are feared that they could do the most damage. I wish that this computer would allow more quickly zoom in on areas to show you that these are really nothing but blood vessels. You can see blood inside of them. You can see white cells inside of them. You can see that part of it involves areas where there are a lot of neurons, and part of it involves primarily uh, myelinated tracts. This could very easily be very, very, very seriously symptomatic in this area. An AVM in connective tissue uh, would not normally be a very much of a concern. Uh, classical arteriovenous malformation. In this case, it happens to be in the pons. Thank you very much.